I'm Braylon Perkins, and welcome to Double Down. And who am I here with? Boslin, Carrie, and Amaris. Double Down is a game show where Skills USA contestants compete to win cash and power tools. All they gotta do is answer four questions to win big. First of all, we're gonna start light. What are you guys' trades, and what do you do with it? Early childhood, and I work with preschoolers. Early childhood, and I also work with preschoolers. Early childhood, and I also work with preschoolers. Nice. For that, you're gonna get some new shiny Skill Jam pins. Now, if you get question two right, we'll give you 20 bucks. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. But if they answer wrong, they lose everything. This is a true or false question. Except for the pin. Everyone gets a pin. If you want a pin, comment down below. There are over 130 trades. For real, go comment. You, you actually get a pin. Represented at the Skills USA and LSE competition. Raise your hand. That's true. You guys are all correct. You guys each win $20 gift cards. But if you get the third question wrong, you lose everything. <laughs> Let's do it. What percentage of companies that employ skilled trade workers are currently understaffed? Raise your hand for 5%. Raise your hand for 20%. And raise your hand for 35%. Okay, open your eyes. Go comment. You guys are correct. I'm yes. sorry, Boswin. It was 35%. So, gotta take your 20 back, but you guys get okay. the $30 gift card. Thank you. All right. So, if you answer everything correctly, you can risk it all for a chance to win big with a brand new power tool from Harbor Freight. And you get to keep the gift cards. What are y'all gonna do? I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Oh no, should I stop? But if you answer the last question wrong, you lose everything, including the power tool and the gift card, but not the pin. Up to you, girl. Oh, yes. oh, I'll more. go ahead, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, I like that. Describe one category of the skilled trades according to the U.S. Department of Labor. Just a general category of the skilled trades. There's a bunch out there. Category? Like, yeah. Like, are you meaning like, like teaching and like, like. It's very general. Okay. But education is not one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you mean explain? Oh, just just state it. You don't have to explain it. Just state an example of a category. Um, a skill trade. Oh, well, I scared to get it wrong. <laughs> and they're definitely here. Mm. Remember, if you do get it wrong, you lose everything. Um, I'm just gonna say arts and communications. Arts and communications, unfortunately, that's not Dang. one of them. Oh. So okay. I gotta take back the 30 and the 20. How do you feel even though you lost everything? Um, I'm surprised that I stepped out of my comfort zone. So. <laughs> well, that's good, I like that. Yeah, I feel smart. I feel like I made the right decision. And you kind of on her team. How do you feel, you know? I feel able to... great, to be honest. That's good. I had fun. That's all that matters. Well, thank you guys for being on Double Down. Congrats, y'all. Good job. I'm going to show you some tools that students can win on our game show, Double Down. Here we have some really important welder's PPE. This helmet protects your eyes from arc flash or ultraviolet radiation. This hammer drill kit is super important on almost any job, especially if you're drilling into hard materials like concrete, brick, and masonry. Are you ready to play Double Down? So ready. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, explain your trade. What is it and what do you do with it? The trade skill I compete in with Skills USA is digital cinema. Nice. Filmmaking, working on cinematography, nice. things like that. That's nice, man. Production yeah. is very important. For that, you oh, want to yeah. do a sk Skills Jam pin? Oh, so thank congratulations. you. Awesome. All right. All right, now you ready to get into the real question? I'm ready. Okay. True or false? Skilled trade jobs are just as important and rewarding as other jobs. I think that is definitely true. Definitely true? Mm -hmm. Not just a little bit true. Definitely true? All the way true. You earned 20 bucks for that, man. Good job. $20 gift card. Thank you. Congratulations. You're on a roll. Now, you have the chance. Keep on going, you know. Earn this $30 gift card. Or you can stop here and just have the 20. But here's the caveat. If you don't get 30 and you get the question wrong, you don't get the 20 as well. So you walk away with nothing. All right. Well, I think I'm here. I figure I gotta, I gotta double down. <laughs> This party is gonna be off of the hook. What percentage of jobs will be missing if the skilled trade gap is not fixed by 2028? You have three options. Okay. A, 500,000, B, 1.5 million, and C, 2.4 million. All right. I think I'm gonna go with 2.4. Is that your final answer? Final answer. 
Sure. Yeah. Double down shirt. Double down shirt. Congratulations. You win the $30 gift card as well. All right. So thank you now you very have much. 50 bucks, man. 50 bucks. How do you feel about that? I, I feel pretty great. Now, here's where you really have to double down. All right. Do you want to stop here, you know? Yep. Go home, relax. Or do you want to keep on going, risk losing it all for a brand new shiny Harbor Freight tool that we have here? Those look pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to have to double down again. Okay, he's confident. Man. What is the most common trade job in the U.S.? This is the open-ended question. Open-ended question. The most common trade job. Is it, yeah. is it more broad or is it super specific? It's kind of a broad area, yeah. Yeah, you can give a broad area. Common trade job. Would it be a uh, mechanic? Mechanic. What's, what does a mechanic do per se? Well, a mechanic would fix, uh, fix things, build, build certain technologies, I suppose. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is uh, incorrect. It's a construction slash materials oh. moving job. So John, how do you feel about losing your $50? I gotta say, obviously, not the greatest thing. Was proud as $50. But I, I gotta say I'm proud of myself. I'm hey. glad I went on and I had a great time. Hey, that's what it's all about, man. Yeah. Hey, thank you for coming on the show. All right, thank you. See you, man. Help us spread the word about the skilled trades. The best thing you can do is like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get back to our contestants on Double Down. Welcome back to Double Down. And who am I here with? Sahib. Sahib. It's nice to meet you, man. Are you ready to get into it? Yep. Perfect. So first of all, what is your trade? Can you explain it a little bit? Uh, I am in the robotics and STEM program in my school, but I mainly focus on programming. And so that involves making algorithms for robots and other stuff. That's great. For that, you win a shiny new Skills Jam pin. Thank so you. So congrats, man, you off to a good start. Okay, now let's get into the real questions, okay? All right. A $20 gift card. True or false? Robotics can be programmed with quality control capabilities. I think that's true. Sure about that. I'm, I'll say I'm sure. Congratulations, you won that $20 gift card, man. Thank you. On a roll. You can either go home with your $20 gift card, or if you get this question wrong, you can lose the $20 gift card and you don't get the $30 gift card. But if you get it right, you're 50 bucks and you're moving on to the next question. Which way do you want to go? You want to go home? I'll take the risk. Okay. How much money does the average robotic technician make yearly? We have three answers. A. $40,000, B, $55,000, and C, $65,000. I will go with $65,000 because that's what I hope I'll make. Uh, is that your final answer? Yeah, $65,000. That is correct. You now won the $30 gift card. Congratulations, thank you, man. Thank you. You're at, at 50 bucks. Now, here's where you have to double down, take the big risk. And you can either win a gift over here or you go home with nothing. Do you want to double down, take the risk, or Go home and keep your 50 bucks. Mm, I'll take the risk. Go Don't take the risk, nice. First, can you go ahead and pick a tool? So first of all, explain how come you chose the drill. Well, it is one of the tools that I don't have at home, so this will be really useful. Nice. Sometimes I build robots and I need to drill holes, okay. so this will become really useful. You ready to double down? I am ready. Tier four question, let's get into it. Pretty simple, straightforward question. What is a cobot? A cobot? Yes, a cobot. I would say that's a robot that is like a, a, how you have a co-author. It's like a mm -hmm. robot that helps the main robot. Mm -hmm. And what is it kind of designed to do? It works with the main robot and it's designed to basically be a backup kind of oh, right. robot and we just help the main robot. That is correct. Congratulations, Seb. You won 50 bucks and a brand new drill from Harbor Freight Tools. How you feeling, man? I'm feeling great. Thank you for coming to, to Double Down by Skills Jam. Tune in to see who's going to win next. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. We love having you here on Double Down. Make sure to click this video to see more Skills Jam content because you'll see.